Right, what's going on guys? So, today I'm going to be doing a controller settings and game settings video. I've been streaming, I've streamed for about 8 hours today and I can't tell you how many times I've been asked, what are your controller settings? Now, this it's been kind of a big thing during the release of FIFA 21 because I've added some new settings in. Um, some new things which basically gives you more control or less control, kind of depends what you're wanting. So, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through it and then you guys can choose what you guys want to do. I'll just explain what each one does. And I'll tell you my preference for why I'm, I've chosen to have it on or off. So, right, so first one, time finishing. Now, for me personally, time finishing doesn't do anything. It doesn't really affect the shot accuracy or the power. Um, the only thing I will do it for is penalties and free kicks because it does make those a bit more accurate. Whereas if not, they're just a bit mental. They kind of just go wherever the hell they want to go. But apart from that, time finishing for me personally is just a bit useless now. Uh, it's not FIFA 19 days where if you green something, it was pretty much a 99% chance of going in. Uh, not like on 2K where basically if you green sign it's a guaranteed goal or bucket or whatever you want to call it on the uh, yeah whatever. Um, so the next one is the what's it called? Uh, contextual agile dribbling. Now, EA introduced something this year which is this. Um, and if you enable it, I will quickly enable it for you. Enable contextual agile dribbling for left stick dribbling in one-on-one -on -one situations. Now I turn it off, and the reason for this is basically what this does. It allows the game in one-on-one -on -one situations when you're trying to dribble past an opponent it will actually dribble for you uh, you won't have to do it yourself now for me a big part of my game is dribbling and skill moves sorry one second chat um so i for me i need this off um it's a big part of my game and I, it would if it was on i think it would actually hinder my in-game performances quite a lot um so if i'm you guys definitely turn it off Obviously, it's really up to you. If you feel like you you struggle more in dribbling one-on-one -on -one situations, then definitely t keep it on. It will make maybe it will help you. Um, but for me personally, uh, I turn it off. Uh, th th that's kind of it, really. So yeah, it just kind of helps you dribbling in one-on-one -on -one dribbling situations. I turn it off. A lot of people may t keep it on. I don't know. But that's kind of what's been causing a lot of the um, the fuss in the scene at the moment. Um, so the next one's assisted headers. Now, um, a lot of people actually have the have this on. Or off, I don't really know. A lot. I personally usually have it on. I'm trying with it out with it off, and the reason is because there'll be more of a skill gap into it. Now let me explain why. Uh, basically, if you can, like a lot of the time when the game will control, like if it's assisted, a lot of the time it may not get the placement that you want or the power that you want. Whereas if you turn it off, so it's not assisted, you can basically control the power, the accuracy, the placement, um, which. If you're a top tier player, you can kind of aim it into those top corners and it can really set you apart in those set piece situations. Um, so that's why I'm going to be trying it off. I've only really just found out about this one. Um, Sierra was the one who told me actually. So shout out to Sierra. He kind of told me about the assisted heading. So yeah, I've, I've turned that off. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's another one of the settings. And I'm pretty sure there is one more. And it's ag analog sprint. Now this is this has been in for a few years. I feel like not a lot of people know about it still. Um, so turning on analog sprint can basically allows you to control how fast you sprint. So I turn it off for the reason is I want my players to run as fast as they can at all to at all times. If you've played FIFA 21, you know how overpowered speed is, pace, whatever you want to call it. So for me, I'm turning it off. I want my players running at full pelt at full time at all times. But I also understand why people would want it on because you can control how fast they want. So maybe you might only want a certain burst of speed. Or you maybe want less, or maybe you want more. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so for me, I turn it off. A lot of people keep it on. I don't. I think maybe that's just because a lot of people don't actually know about it. But um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have that. I have it. Wait, have I just turned it on? I want it off. I don't know why. I, right, yeah. So right now we're gonna go into camera settings. Now, I I, I genuinely, honestly, cannot tell you how many times I get asked this question. What camera do you use? I, it, it's, it is, it's quite astonishing, actually. See, I, I just use telebroadcast. I don't change anything. So it literally just telebroadcast, as you can see. I'll, I'll literally just change all of them for you. Just It'll make it easier. So yeah, I literally use all telebroadcast. And then the camera height, zoom, pro camera, and all that stuff. I keep it on whatever the default is. So I don't change anything. So it's literally just telebroadcast. And that that is literally it. So yeah, th th this is my my controller settings and my game settings and my camera settings. I hope 
this helps you guys in some way. Like I said, I've been getting the question a lot, and it's the only reason why I even really made the video. Um, so hopefully it helps, and hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we're close to 500 subs, so please, if you can, drop a sub. It would really mean a lot to me personally. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.